Live from KPRC, this is Channel 2 News at 6. Football season is almost here. We've got a look at how the Texans are doing at training camp. And if you're heading out the door tonight, it's going to be a warm and muggy one. Coming up, I'll let you know about that Sunday sizzle and we're tracking the tropics. We're watching two systems. I'll let you know. And we can't forget about the Astros. Our own Mercedes McKay is at Minute Maid Park with why the Astros have the best record in the American League. But first tonight, we're taking a look at the Astros weekend. Good evening, I'm Mark Skull Jr. Astros and Blue Jays tonight at the Juice Box. Astros on a season-long three-game losing streak also lost six of eight entering tonight. But the bats were swinging at Minute Maid. Yuli Gurriel jump-started the night with a no-doubt two-run homer in the first to give the Astros the lead. Then in the fourth, the red-hot Alex Bregman hits a two-run shot of his own to the opposite field to put the Astros up 7-2. And then Marwin Gonzalez joins in on the fun and blasts a three-run shot to right. Astros would score nine runs in the fourth and go on the win 16-7. The Astros have a secret to how they are having such a great season, and Mercedes McKay is at Minute Maid to uncover it. It's no question the Astros have been beyond exceptional this season. Of course, their undeniable talent has helped them along the way, but their mentality, that's what's winning them games. We show up motivated, and, and I love that about our team. I love it about our players and, and what's important to them. That characteristic, the bounce back quality, the try to win today's game mentality is, has been with us since day one. We didn't come into the season chasing um, a large lead. We didn't come into the season chasing other teams. We came into the season knowing that we had a really good baseball club and that if we went out there every day, played the right way, that we were going to win a lot of games. And win a lot of games is just what they have done this season with their 68-34 to record. How they approach each game, though, is really the key. We can't take any game for granted. You know, you, you, you got to go out and, and play the same way. We just, we just try to go win games, you know, one day at a time. I don't think we take anything for granted because we show up every day and we want to win the game, you know. I think that's why we're in the first place because the effort we put on every day. We never look at the standings anymore, to be honest. All we focus right now is get three hits every day and then score a lot of runs. That's the Astros' secret. Mercedes McKay, KPRC, Channel 2 Sports. One Astros legend joined the best baseball team of all time. Jeff Bagwell is now a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Last weekend was the induction, but the celebration isn't over yet. Minute Maid Park has devoted this weekend to the new Hall of Famer. And Bagwell is excited to be with the fans who mean so much to him. I want to thank the Astros fans. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. I can't tell you how much um, being around you guys in the city and showing me the love and my family. I love you so much for everything that you've done for me. For the first time in franchise history, Texans training camp is not in Houston. Instead, it's in West Virginia, which brings a change of scenery, a change of climate, and a change of pace for the team. It's great up here. I mean, um, it's a chance for us to, to bond. It's a chance for us to eliminate distractions and uh, have good practices and become a better football team. And the players aren't just excited about getting back to football. They're also excited to be out at the Houston Heat. I think it's good for guys that it's not acclimated and not used to that heat, uh, you know, because, you know, when you're in Houston, you, you're thinking about surviving the heat. But out here, you know, it's, it's assignment, it's football. Another first for the Texans is that Jadavian Clowney and J.J. Watt are healthy at the same time, and they think they can take the Texans' defense to new heights. With him out there, it's always going to be good uh, for not just me, for everybody around him, for the defense itself. It's going to be great. I mean, just to, just to see the talent that we have and the ability to put it all on the field at the same time and to come from different angles, uh, it's going to be really special. Definitely some firsts out in West Virginia, but there's one thing the Texans do miss at the Greenbrier. We miss the Houston fans. Uh, we, uh, we know how important it is to them, our training camp there. We'll be back there in a few weeks, and we'll have a couple open practices for them. Texans fans are excited to see their team back in town, and the Texans are certainly excited to be out of that Houston heat. Speaking of the heat, Caroline Brown has more. Yes, so you know, we all hear those stories about heat exhaustion, but how can we avoid the heat? Uh, so we normally, our bodies have to maintain itself in a very narrow temperature range between 97 to 99 to work effectively. So our bodies become dysfunctional and shut down when we can't get rid of the heat, Dr. Amir Montez says. Here's some tips to avoid overheating. First, drink plenty of fluids. 
wear loose fitting, lightweight clothing. Avoid getting sunburned. Lastly, avoid exercise during the hottest time of the day. And you know, even if there's not a heat advisory, you should still take precautions from the heat. Definitely in a city like Houston, it's always hot out here. Yeah, we see some pretty hot temperatures, but luckily we haven't been seeing them lately because of all the rainfall we've been getting. In fact, here's a click to pin from one of the showers we saw today out there near Galveston. You can see all of the heavy rainfall in the distance. Looking at the radar for today, you can see those showers going through Houston. We dropped about an inch of rain, but it didn't affect our temperatures so much. Our average high is 95 and we still hit a scorching 92 today. Right now, though, we're in the upper 80s for the most part. So if you're heading out to that Astros game tonight, it's going to be a hot one when you're walking in. It's going to be 88, but it's going to feel closer to 101. As we go into the evening hours, it's going to cool down a little bit, but not too much. We're going to stay in the 80s overnight. In fact, right now we're still up there, triple digits out there in Brenham, even in Angleton. For the rest of us, we're still feeling like it's in the upper 90s. Throughout the night, though, these temperatures are going to go down, staying in the lower 80s, upper 70s for the most part. And then tomorrow we're going to heat up quickly. We're going to get into the mid to upper 90s. So the best time to go out would be in the morning. When you're walking out the door, it's going to be partly cloudy. And as we go into the afternoon, we could see a few scattered showers, but we're not expecting too many, which is why those temperatures are going to get into dangerously high heat. As we get into the upcoming week, though, Monday, those showers are going to be back starting around lunchtime. This is because of a front that's trying to make its way in. Unfortunately, we aren't going to see a, a break from the heat because of it, but we will be seeing those afternoon showers come back as it stalls out in North Texas this is going to give us those stormy showers every single afternoon. Tracking the tropics, we've been watching this wave out off the coast of Africa. It's got a 50% of developing in the next five days, but no nothing close to home anytime soon. Out in the Caribbean, we've been watching this cluster of thunderstorms as they're trying to develop. You can see it right here on the GOES-16 satellite. It's trying to get this sort of spin on it, but it can't quite get there yet. If it does develop, though, we are expecting it to skirt off into Mexico. So the only real effects we could have here in southeast Texas would be increased rain chances in the upcoming week. But for tomorrow, you have a high of 94 with heat indexes getting up to 107. So definitely stay safe out there. But as we get into Monday, those temperatures, we're going to see a brief break from it due to those high rain chances, high of 88 on Monday. As we go into the week, though, those rain chances are going to taper down and we're going to get up to 96 degrees next Friday. Well, we're definitely going to have to have these, those umbrellas for the beginning of the week, at least. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to check your radar on Monday. Thanks, Caroline. There's more evidence about the risk of permanent brain damage in football players. When looking at the brains of deceased NFL players, CTE was found in 99% of pros, according to the medical journal JAMA. Professionals are not the only players at risk. The brain disease was found in 91% of college players and 21% of high school athletes. Players with CTE suffered from memory loss, mood disorders, and even showed symptoms of dementia before their death. An ACL injury might ruin an athlete's season, but there's good news for recovering players. People who've had the surgery to repair their ACL were able to recover well, according to a 10-year study of 1,300 patients. Even a decade later, patients reported staying active and maintaining a high quality of life. Those who had a more difficult time recovering were more likely to smoke and be overweight. The most physical sport might not be one you expect, wheelchair rugby. It's a full contact sport that is put on by the Adaptive Athletics Program at the University of Houston. The program takes pride in giving its members a chance to challenge disability stereotypes. Disability is often seen as fragile. People uh, are often treated with kid gloves, and this allows people to come out and crash into someone. And I'm not fragile. I like to get hit really hard. You learn things that you never knew. Teamwork, friendships, trust, life. You learn life. The players say wheelchair rugby offers cha changes in quality of life, not just medical benefits, but social benefits as well. What a great role model. Truly inspirational. Very inspirational. I mean, I got to start running some miles outside or something. It's going to be pretty hot, though, if you do. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. That's it for Channel 2 News at 6. Thank you for joining us. Do you think they